It's Rob here again from Permaboss. I'm wearing the official Permaboss embroidery tuxedo for you and that's because I'm wearing two things with applique today. So this one I purchased but uh, it's pretty simple straightforward. If you take a look actually you'll see that there's a running stitch and these letters were actually physically hand cut and hand placed on the garment. And uh, the one I'm wearing here is actually, I'm going to show you a bunch of samples afterwards. We threw down one big piece of red. We just did the running stitch and then the laser, the NGL laser cut it and we peeled it away. And we added that stitch on afterwards. So these are very fine, narrow things. Um, this is the definition of insanity. If you try and do this by hand, it's not going to be profitable. It's not going to be fun. Uh, I wanted to show you a few things today. One is a series of samples we did for a presentation for Timberlane and then I'll leave a picture on the video of the entire collection that they picked but I want you to see that in one day we were able to go from zero to all these samples I'm going to lay out in the boardroom table here and they were overwhelmed and they they had so many choices that they probably purchased more but they have a clothing line like that because of the laser and you couldn't do that because the stitch count with other was just embroidery would take forever you'd be stitching for two three days straight so we'll go through that in a minute but an important question came up actually today and a customer made a comment similar to the effect of you know I have so and so my partner he's been researching for more than 10 hours on every laser in the world and I said why don't you tell me I've got this chart here that I made up for the trade shows and it actually compares all the lasers to the NGL so as fast as I can so that you don't have to go spend 10 hours plus doing the research you can email me I'll email you this chart so you can see it in clear but I'll go over it in point form really quickly okay so uh, of course the NGL is first and of course it has mostly everything green in it, right? That's what's going to happen. But uh, let me go through point by point. What I have here in the first category is a single head laser attachment. So when you see, for example, the uh, Italian lasers, the Sight product and the uh, Pro L E laser, I guess it is, those lasers uh, send through a fiber optic or a channel and point right down onto the embroidery hoop. There'll be a picture of it coming up. And they act as needle one. So needle one triggers that laser to turn on and then the pantograph moves and the laser cuts. So typically they're around 25 watts. They are pretty much more than half the price of the NGL laser and you have it on one head. As soon as you want to put it on four heads it's pretty much cost prohibitive because you have to add um, four uh, channels on there and it's actually ending up much more than the NGL laser. So uh, four head laser attachment is what I just finished. Uh, pro Allo site, the, the e-laser, and then uh, all laser plotters from USA. Remember that the laser plotter, and I'll again edit it into the video, zooms back and forth. So if you have um, a hand to make on our laser, it has a very quick movement, small movement with the mirror, big movement on the surface. With a plotter laser, you have to physically go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So the same motion on a plotter laser is going to take maybe 15 minutes, what takes 12 seconds with the NGL laser. Um, so laser plotters outside the USA, China for example, maybe Asia, all laser bridges um, and then we have scanning lasers that were scanning lasers first that are now being marketed as an embroidery laser and there's a bunch of issues that they have there because they weren't started ground up thinking about the embroidery, they're an afterthought for embroidery. So the number one thing is for the North Americans, we are using between 85 and 90 percent North American, or specifically USA made parts. The optics, the scanner head, the um, laser itself, the controller board, and all the software is written here in Canada. So we have a completely 100 percent NAFTA made product made with the best things I could find in North America and that's why we have the longer warranty than anybody else. So NGL has it, the other was don't except for the, the uh, plotter lasers made in the USA. They're, you may not see it because the distributor is paying it, but it's air and it's basically duties and taxes on equipment that you don't need to pay. Plug and play technology, so any embroidery tech can repair and service instead of a factory trained rep. Most people will keep you bound to their product and I've always been a consumer of many different things and I hate the fact that when I sold a product that you couldn't get any parts anywhere else. So except for the controller board and our software, if for whatever reason Permabos disappeared, there's a brand name on every single part of the laser and we can help a technician locally if you're stuck, if there would be a reason to go and get the service call made. I think that's very important. So maybe they don't know much about the alignment but certain things that they can do that are there and you have you know schematics and all the things you need to come with the laser. So 
when I was selling other equipment, that was always no, no, no. That was proprietary. We didn't give that information to anybody. Nobody touched our stuff. We don't live in that day and age. You need a problem solved. You need to get it solved right away. We need to use that person as uh, our hands so we don't have to try and travel and fly out there. Um, laser, to offer both SYNRAD and Universal Laser Source uh, options plug and play. So I like the SYNRAD laser because I classify that as a little bit like a Porsche. It's very refined, it has a good response time. When I go higher power on the laser, the, the laser itself, I go you know, 40, 60, 80, 100 watt. The package is the same. And the Universal to me is like the Corvette. So lots of juice, lots of power right out of the, case, right out of the gate. Um, very simple, great warranty. However, when you get a bigger power on the Universal, the thing physically gets up to four times bigger when you go to 100 watt. That doesn't fit in the NGL. Either way, you can pull it out after the 20,000, 25,000 hours, put another one in, do the alignment, and you're in business again. You can recharge it, etc. So I like to use both those. You can use both those choices in our laser. You're not obligated to get one or the other. It's built that way, okay? So in most cases, you pick what they give you. That's the way it comes. You don't have any choice. That's it. Um, Laser to offer a quick outline, red aiming beam for the operator benefit, saves garments, prevents operation errors. On all their videos, you'll often see that there's a red trace. It's really important because when you're doing etching, you don't need to hoop the garment. You can just see where the left chest is, where the garment is going to be cut uh, or etched. And in this case, I can line it up. I can make sure because sometimes it has happened that the darn garment falls out of the hoop and you don't want to waste it and you don't want to know how to do it. So you could just lay it down on the table, register it with the red tracing feature. It's just one button on the software. You'll see it always, it's like, um, it's like a box with an outline or a dotted line and a circle inside or vice versa. So when he presses that in those videos, he's actually doing the outline, the box, or the actual tracing of it. That's a really good feature and I thought um, it would be a benefit to you guys so it's in there. No! Except for one over here and um, no, that's not even it over here. So it's not anybody else's feature right now. Now they have the video, maybe they're going to get working on it, right? I don't know. Um, NGL requires no stopping or production or moving of your embroidery machines to make room to accommodate the installation. Take it from me, I was the first one to sell the laser bridge in North America. The first one, the biggest size, it was basically almost a quarter million dollars. It's a major disruption. You have to have a forklift. You have to get that 12 meter, 12 yard bar into your facility. You've got to move machines to get that bar in there. You have to lift it up. You have to be able to uh, get all your machines in a row and aligned. So it's a big disturbance. And what you never know, unless somebody tells you up front, you're going to expect to pay fifteen, twenty thousand dollars worth of time for the technician and involvement for the disruption. Now, I always said you'll catch up, and that's the case with the uh, bridge laser. But um, it was never so easy because there was always like technical issues. Our laser is available to come out of the crate in a matter of minutes, let's say 20, 30 minutes when you're careful, tops. And in 90 minutes it's assembled in the new mobile laser, there's no assembly. You roll it out of the crate and you're pretty much in business once you plug it in the wall and hook up the uh, air. Uh, again, requires no forklift for the installation. The NGL lasers will roll through a door. You can take it in, the big NGL 50 comes in three pieces. You can take it through any door, up the stairs, in an attic, in a basement, in a low ceiling, regular electricity, no three phase electricity, all those special features that should be basic for 80% of the embroidery. We only have those right now, except for the plotters, of course, because many of them are like the home-based type of things. Um, and we don't require, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten days of installation. What you don't know is that most calibration procedures are very complex. We developed uh, optical character recognition, so we actually shoot a field of dots. Our software scans those dots, finds the center point, the calibration's done. The computer does it relative. No more sitting there with the jeweler's loop and calculating and writing down little squares and dots and decimals and spending hours doing it, especially when you have multiple fields. So that those days are over. I hated it when I had to do it for. Um, the people I was distributing for, and that's gone now, and that's something unique to us as well. Uh, I think I already said it assembles in 90 minutes or less. Some of the plotters, when you take them out of the crate because they're in a case, it's not a big deal. It's all self-enclosed. 24-month um, unlimited use, unlimited hours. So if you want to use the NGL laser and you want to use it 24 hours a day and you want to use it two years straight 24 hours a day, go ahead. You have a warranty for that. Other people have all kinds of fine print that uh, doesn't clarify that. Am I boring you? I'm still here. I'm like not even I'm one third of the way through. So um, touch screen, fingertip control, innovation with uh, the icons. 
If you see our software, you don't need to know the language language or any language because there's not even, I think, 15 words on the entire screen. It's all picture-based working with the touch screen. I insist on that because, um, no offense, but we don't have uh, NASA engineers running embroidery machines and it needs to be going in every country and every corner of the world, so a picture is what works really well. I'm back. I just want to show you a, a bunch of things we did and the, what I want you to get out of this video is can you actually go and make this many samples in Scratch in one day, make a blockbuster presentation to a client and have that many choices all from scratch. So that's what I'm going to go through. But, but first, let me show you something. This is the um, dry wicking moisture management product. And this is laser etched. It's in one of the videos, but take a look. It's a, a shirt I wear at the trade shows. Great idea to put it in a spot. That's like a six, seven second decoration, right? Look at this over here. I put it right here. So I can put logos in spots you never dreamed of with, uh, with anything that's pretty much dry wicking. One thing, uh, go back with the camera for a sec. One thing I want to stress, polyesters get darker. So navy blue and black is harder to see. You need to find a light part of the panel. But with the laser, what you don't have is the puckering of the embroidery. So the only downside to the laser etching is on the black and the navy blue, it's harder to see. Virtually all the other colors, you can see anything all the time. So let's go back to the samples here. So here we've just taken a large piece and we've done a running stitch and then we laser etched, it, uh, laser cut it. But what we did was we cut it maybe 95, 98% and then tore it away. And we just changed the material color here. So we have basically like a, a, a girl's version and a boy's version, right? This here is uh, actually making the garment look defective and run through already. So we actually cut mistakes, showed the stitching behind it, and what we did was uh, we, this is washed and then just cleaned up so it's got a backing on it for presentation purposes. But this is also a tack logo that we did. All this, the running I'm going to show you is virtually all done in one day. Here, I've taken the um, uh, like a, a fleecy product, put it underneath so it comes out from up top. Done the uh, military here. So here is a double applique, but remember the process is to put one material down, put the other material on top, do one running stitch, throw it underneath the laser and the embroidery hoop, cut the top layer, peel it off, expose the bottom layer, cut it, peel it off. And again, remember you can adjust the laser. There's some of these have absolutely no foil because what we're doing is just cutting surface, not cutting through. So the rule is if you're going to cut through and you want it to be very clean and you don't want to rip it, you put foil underneath. If you want it distressed, you wouldn't do that. So the same logo using the military uh, camouflage, we put uh, the reverse applique on there. This one here is just picking a different material, but the point is in the conversation, we could do different things very uniquely, very quickly when we're presenting it to the customer. Same one here, right? Just pick the little boys thing. So the idea of the presentation when you show people a lot of things is they have choices. When you can show them five or six or different, seven different things, that one person at the back of the room can have an argument. There's little skulls on here. This is similar to what I was wearing. <clears throat> There's just felt and then making it a bit rough. This one had uh, a bit of foil underneath. You see that? Uh, this one, sometimes you can mimic that screen print and you just make it uh, a bit rough. Here, you have uh, a cotton twill, but we cut it more aggressively so that we have less tearing. There's the skull applique again. I guess I've got to put them in order. Again, applique. So look at the full front. This is uh, almost uh, 300, 280 uh, centimeters, you know, 11 inches. And it's a running stitch, and then we're tearing it away. We've got a ruler here. So you got like an 11 inch logo here and you don't even have 2,000 stitches and it's a full front. I don't know where this came from. Don't know who that is. But look at actually the point of this is the detail. So you got something here that's not even a quarter of an inch wide actually and you can center it perfectly with the laser, no problem. Here again we have um, two color and we have uh, different types of twill cut very uh, cleanly so you don't have the distressed look. Um, sometimes, if you're not careful, you can get a bit of browning. So those are settings you can adjust on the laser. That's felt underneath. Applique from reverse applique. This is what I was wearing again. But you show them on different colors because it's so quick and easy to do. This is even more narrow here. It was more of a feminine look rather than the guy's look. And when we gave them garments, instead of producing the garments, we produced the samples and then had them pick the color combination that they wanted. 
But look how fast that is. These are all things done so quick and easy, and it's all it was all in one presentation laid out in the boardroom. Same one again here. So look at the difference between these two based on how you would cut it. So if you would cut this maybe 95%, 97%, something like that, it would rip. And there's one of the videos already that show you that. And this one here is a very clean cut. This is uh, famous for a long time as using plaid on the bum or on the shirt, university logos. Very plain, just uh, tan on beige. Then putting something on top of the tan one. This is one of my favorites here. It wasn't for the presentation, it just uh, popped up in here. But uh, applique, reverse applique, distressed. So the same logo, same file. All we did was we picked the cutting where the stitching was on the opposite one. This was uh, for some mi mar mixed martial arts. Look how detailed that is, how close that is. This was a terrific one. Imagine doing this and trying to either basically stitch each one of these dots out, the movement, the cuts, etc. Here all we did was a tack down, then the laser cut all the circles, we peeled it all off and it was done. The only thing that's high stitch count is the satin stitch and the shadow of the lettering. You could have done that applique as well. Okay, back to Timberlane. So, a uh, two layer applique felt. We've done stuff like this all the time for a long time. And down to the last two. So here we have a full front decoration that's uh, almost uh, 10 inches tall and almost 12 inches wide. Two layers of felt, satin stitch, so the classic combination. And the benefit again is that you're not stopping the embroidery machine, laying down a letter, placing it. You're laying the whole white down, the whole blue down, doing one sewing, cutting the blue, cutting the white, peeling it away. And the last one here is uh, the plaid underneath. Same concept, just done in a reverse. So. I don't know how many samples it is, we can count it quick, but uh, we'll show you a couple of videos on how we did it, insert it in there. If you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email, we have a sample book, we teach you how to do this, we come on site, and we're able to produce these samples in the first day. Thanks for your time, bye.